the jury has reached a verdict, and it is damning. This report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change is a litany of broken climate promises. It is a file of shame, cataloging the empty pledges that put us firmly on track towards an unlivable world. We are on a fast track to climate disaster. Major cities underwater, unprecedented heat waves, terrifying storms, widespread water shortages, the extinction of a million species of plants and animals. And this is not fiction or exaggeration. It is what science tells us will result from our current energy policies. We are on a pathway to global warming of more than double the 1.5 degree limit agreed in Paris. Some government and business leaders are saying one thing, but doing another. Simply put, they are lying. And the results will be catastrophic. This is a climate emergency. Climate scientists warn that we are already perilously close to tipping points that could lead to cascading and irreversible climate impacts. But high emitting governments and corporations are not just turning a blind eye. They are adding fuel to the flames. They are choking our planet based on their vested interests and historic investments in fossil fuels when cheaper renewable solutions provide green jobs, energy security and greater price stability. We left COP26 in Glasgow with a naive optimism based on new promises and commitments. But the main problem, the enormous growing emissions gap, was all but ignored. And the science is clear. To keep the 1.5 degree limit agreed in Paris within reach, we need to clap global emissions by 45% this decade. But current climate pledges would mean a 14% increase in emissions. And most major emitters are not taking the steps needed to fulfill even these inadequate promises. Climate activists are sometimes depicted as dangerous radicals. But the truly dangerous radicals are the countries that are increasing the production of fossil fuels. Investing in new fossil fuel infrastructure is moral and economic madness. First and foremost, we must triple the speed of the shift to renewable energy. And that means moving investments and subsidies from fossil fuels to renewables now. In most cases, renewables are already far cheaper. It means governments ending the funding of coal, not just abroad, but at home. And it means climate coalitions made out of developed countries, multilateral development banks, private financial institutions, and corporations with adequate technologies supporting major econo emerging economies in making this shift. We have an obligation not to your harm links. these individuals, yeah? So if they're saying they're hurt, let's just pay attention to that, please. I've got it around my neck, mate. Like, please it's please literally not loose. Please, please, please stop. Please. Yeah, I'm, please I'm not on the road. Yeah, I'm happy. I understand that, yeah. But I'm just here to observe. I'm just here to observe. I'm just here to observe. It means protecting forests and ecosystems as powerful climate solutions. It means rapid progress in reducing methane emissions. And it means implementing the pledges made in Paris and Glasgow. Leaders must lead. But all of us can do our part. We owe a debt to young people, civil society and indigenous communities for sounding the alarm and holding leaders accountable. We need to build on their work to create a grassroots movement that cannot be ignored. If you live in a big city, a rural area, or a small island state, if you invest in the stock market, if you care about justice and our children's future, I am appealing directly to you. I'd rather, I'd rather not because I can't, I can't read. I can't, I can't listen to this. Hey, listen to him. He's in the neck. You can video there. Just Demand that renewable energy is introduced now at speed and at scale. Demand an end to coal-fired power. Demand an end to all fossil fuel subsidies. Today's report comes at a time of global turbulence. Inequalities are at unprecedented levels. The recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic is scandalously uneven. Inflation is rising and the war in Ukraine is causing food and energy prices to skyrocket but increasing fossil fuel production will only make matters worse. 
a shift to renewables will mend our broken global energy mix and offer hope to millions of people suffering climate impacts today. Climate promises and plans must be turned into reality and action now. It's time to stop burning our planet and start investing in the abundant renewable energy all around us.